Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Hello, hello from the Branson RV Park in beautiful Branson, Missouri. That's where we are. It's cloudy today. It was sunny yesterday. It's cloudy today. It actually got warmer overnight, and so I think we've hit our high for the day, and then it's supposed to fall apart from there. That's 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 Missouri winters. Yesterday we got a little sunburn, I think, sitting outside, and today we need to put on our winter clothes again, probably. But anyway, I told you guys I would do my hormone coffee hack. Let me tell you where this came from real quick, and then I'll do it. So, uh, my engineer works part-time at a coffee shop in Branson called Espresso. It's owned locally. A guy, I don't know if he went to college with him, but he's a college of the Ozarks graduate. He opened up a coffee shop on the Strip, so if you're familiar with Branson, it's down there by Walmart. He took um, those big can uh, metal containers, like the ones people build tiny houses out of, and he, and he built the coffee shop in one of those. I'm trying to reconnect. Okay, we're connected. But anyway, um, they had come up with a coffee drink called Peanut Butter Cup, and I tried it one day. And he, the guy's friendly enough, we can go in there. And I wanted to see the label on the peanut butter because I was just curious. And it's Re Reese's actually makes it, and it had a pump on it so they could pump it out. But it still had soybean oil, I believe, in it. And it still, but it didn't have that many ingredients, but it still had like soybean oil in it, so it wasn't the greatest. So I, so anyway, the coffee shop is now closed for a couple months because we are in the off season for tourism. So that said, um, we're no longer stopping at the coffee shop on our shift. So I thought I'm gonna try to figure out how to make the peanut butter coffee, which I didn't really need to be drinking it anyway, just because of all the additives in it and the sugar and stuff. So anyway, I'm going to. So I decided I'm going to hack this coffee. So we have an espresso machine. Hey, Amy. Fred. Fred's watching. Um, so anyway, we have an espresso machine at one of our other stations that my sister had given me. And so I, when I moved stations, I forgot to bring it. But my engineer brought it back. So we'll play with it tomorrow. But I figured out how to do this at home. So I'm going to make a peanut butter cup coffee hormone hack we're gonna hormone hack it now is this something that you drink every day it depends it depends it depends if you're fasting if you're intermittent fasting it depends if you want to treat it as your breakfast per se but um i typically the way i do my eating because you can do this so many different ways i typically have gotten away from putting stuff in my coffee if i get a good quality coffee i just drink black coffee and then i actually intermittent fast um I do get hungry, I throw in a handful of nuts, and then I work out. This is when I'm off work, and then I work out, and then I have my meal. Because I've trained my body over time to do it that way, and that's what I like, and that's what works for me, and, and anyway, that's what I've done for the last couple years. That said, you know, I didn't start off that way, that's just what's happened. And you can do this several different ways, so don't think you have to copy everything I do. I'm just giving you information because that's what I love about hacking your hormones. It's not one specific way. You can do this several different ways and you can totally get the same results. So with my lifestyle and the way I work, this is what I do. So that said, here's, here's what I'm using for coffee. Um, today is Sam's Choice Sumatra Organic, so I've already brewed the coffee. I know if you watched the label video, I had told you that Smucker's peanut butter, even though there's no organic label or non-GMO label, if you compare it to the others, like Clearly Organic, Clearly Organic's worse for you, even though it says Clearly Organic. And it says natural. And it says, uh, I don't know if it's non-GMO, I can't remember. That said, um, I wanted to tell you I found something on this label that I didn't catch when I did the, vi the original video on the label. But when you turn this around... And if you look at the bottom, this is why you got to read your labels. It says, even though there's not the fancy logo on the front, it says certified non-GMO by True North International. So guess what? This is a non-GMO product and doesn't even say it. It just says it's on the label and it's your better choice for peanut butter. Way to go, schmuckers. Mother schmuckers. Schmuckers. All right. <laughs> All right, and then we are going to be using green and black organic chocolate coffee. This is USDA organic and 85% cacao. All right, 
And then we're going to sweeten it with some Organic Light Blue Agave. This comes in a plastic bottle, but the bottle label says it's BPA free on the back, right there. And we store this at room temperature, so don't be heating this up in your microwave. You don't need to, it's liquid. And then we are going to be using some organic valley cream. Uh, USDA organic, non-hormone, whatever. I used to just use black coffee and cream to suppress my appetite when I was fasting. Trying to fast, trying to do, uh, watch my watch my intake. But this is what we're going to use today. Alright, so let's get started. First thing I did was I took my chocolate bar. And I broke off a piece. That much. You can go a little bit less, you can go a little bit more, but um, I don't measure anything, as you know with my recipes, so I just drop her. I'm going to drop her in here, and I'm going to pour my coffee on top of it. Okay. The heat from the coffee will start melting it down. So while that's kind of doing that, and by the way, I would have been on earlier, but on my last shift, it was kind of like Branson PD. If you really knew what happened Branson after hours, we had some craziness. So I didn't sleep much. So when I did get to sleep, uh, I slept in a little bit later than I normally do because I needed some rest. And my body said rest. There you go. Actually, I got up about seven. Normally I'm up around six. All right, so this is melting down just nicely. Now we're gonna add some peanut butter. Do you need to get crazy on the peanut butter? No, like one to two tablespoons. One to two tablespoons, ish. And I guess it's whatever size tablespoon you consider a tablespoon. This is a bigger spoon. So I'm just gonna a glob of peanut butter. And this is creamy peanut butter. Okay. It's runny because of the oil. So it goes into my peanut butter. Or in my coffee. The peanut butter goes in my coffee with my chocolate. Okay. And we just, I'm just stirring it. That's all I'm doing is stirring it. Stir, 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 stir. <clears throat> okay. Here's, here's what I figured out the other day. I've got this little blender thing. Uh, it's like a $10 Walmart product. But it works great because it's just, I like it because it's got the cup. And you know how sometimes they got the blades in the bottom of your cup? That's weird. So this is maybe their version of the bullet. That's cheaper. So we're going to do this. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is dump my coffee into my cup. And spoon it out. At this point, the chocolate's actually pretty melted, the dark chocolate. You wouldn't think that it would, but it is, because I'm scraping it off my cup. Okay. Wipe my cup. I'm going to add my little bit of cream to this. And this is amazing, because this makes it like a latte. Once we blend this, it makes it a latte, and you'll see that it, like, like you made it in Starbucks or something. So, a little bit of cream. Not much. And then this is my sweetener. And I literally use like two or three drops. That's it. That's all you need. Because this stuff is supposed to be like 14 times sweeter than sugar. And it's golden light, 100% agave. Comes from the agave plant. So here we go. Done. That is done. I'm going to put my lid on this thing. Now, for the sake of your ears, I'm going to cover my microphone. And just know that I'm going to start this blender. Oops, I dropped the... I dropped you. I dropped you, but we're back. Sorry about that. I had you sitting on top of my air fryer, and then I dropped you. So I apologize. I'm going to put you down here for a second. Kind of move this stuff. There, that way you can kind of see... See my blender? Okay. Plug in your ears. Plug your ears. Alright. 
There we go. And what I do is I pour it back into my coffee cup. I don't know if you can see this. Ba boom. Ba boom. It smells good. This is it. That's my coffee. That's my hormone hack coffee. So, actually, I, what I do is I throw it in the microwave for about 30 seconds just to heat it back up. So, <laughs> it's not like pouring coffee, but hey, it's got your peanut butter in it and your good cacao. If you're trying to get off on a good start right away in the morning and you wake up, hungry off of your intermittent fasting or whatever you're doing, you want good fats immediately put into your body. And you want the good fats because you want to make your body burn fats first. So, what's a good fat? Dark chocolate. There we go. Dark chocolate is good fat. You know, but you don't need a bunch of it. You just need to kind of be mindful of your dark chocolate. And peanut butter has good fat in it. You know, the right kind of natural peanut butter. And then this has good fat in it too. So, you know, if you want something in the morning to kind of curb that appetite and call it your breakfast or whatever. Now, I wouldn't sit around and drink two or three of these in a day. But to drink it, you know, once every other day or just for a nice sweet treat in the morning to maybe replace a coffee creamer as your, you know... I know it's hard to go cold turkey on certain things, so this is a nice way to kind of um, do it, but be mindful of your hormones. And then you're keeping all the ac actual preservatives and crappy sugars off because when your hormones um, screw up is when you put preservatives in your body and you put things in your body that are synthetic. Your hormones are transmitters and they talk like this. They talk, 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 talk. Because everything has to go through your hormones. Your hormones are talking like, hey, we got to go burn fat. Hey, we got to go repair that muscle. Hey, we're not feeling so good. So we need to go um, attend to the brain. Da, 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 da. We got to go process this, that. Okay. When you throw in some sugar or you throw in a preservative, boom, it like hits the hormone over the head and now they're confused. And when a hormone gets confused, the hormone defaults to storing things as fat. Period. End of story. So instead of going, hey, let's go store this as a muscle for protein. Hey, let's go store this as fat, you know, proper fat or whatever it is. Fix a bone, whatever. No, it goes to fat because it's confused. It's, it's just confused. You've hit your hormone over the head. So we don't want to hit our hormones over the head. We want our hormones to help us. So that said, here is your peanut butter. <coughs> Oops. Peanut butter cup coffee. Try it. Let me know what you think. Mmm, it is good. Alright, you guys. You guys have a great day. I have videos I need to make for the uh, hormone course, and I've got to work on some stuff today because i got to go back to work tomorrow. So you guys have a great, great day. See ya.